oftentimes, when you see me in the kitchen by myself, that means it's going to be an all cooking show. Now, people always say to me, Paula, when you're doing those cooking schools and I've just changed over to a plant-based diet, I have no idea what I'm going to be fixing. Well, you want to make sure you get your paper and your pencil and you want to ring somebody on the phone and tell them that the Abundant Living Show is on and we are doing Meals in Minutes. Stay by. Welcome to Abundant Living. We are glad to be here today with you, and I hope you got your paper and pencils because it is an all-cooking show. All cooking. I am Paula Aikens, and this is my husband, Curtis Aikens. Well, Good you... to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of meals times... Meals and minutes. Yeah, meals and minutes. A lot of times people say that I'm making that switch, mm -hmm. I'm switching over to the vegetarian diet, and I just do not have enough recipes, or I don't know what to do. And, mm -hmm. and basically, I remember when I made the switch over, mm -hmm. I, I was also perplexed and trying to figure out where I was going with this. And then my daughter, our daughter came along That's and said, right. Mother, why don't you do the recipes you've always done, just change out the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we began changing things out, regular milk for soy milk or rice milk or almond milk. We began changing out um, whole grains, you know, the brown rice and the whole wheat bread. As we began switching mm -hmm. things out, whole flours, um, all those kind of things, you know, uh, we began to just assimilate or move into the vegetarian diet so much so mm -hmm. that... Um, it, it was, and it was a gradual process, It really, was a gradual you know, process. Bit by bit, inch by inch, anything's, anything's a cinch. cinch. Oh, we did it on time. That was really, really good, okay? Mm -hmm. And so with that in mind, this show is actually called Meals and Minutes because it's basically recipes you've always used, mm -hmm. but in a healthier type of a format. That's the one thing that I like the good. most, okay? And it looks like something that most people are used to eating, too. That's what we always say in our cooking schools. If we prepare food that no one's ever seen before and does look strange, mm. we uh, really are not going to probably get too many takers. So our theme in our cooking schools are never, never serve, serve your, your family, family strange foods. foods. <laughs> <laughs> so when you think about that, then it's, it's, it's uh, better to get things that people mm -hmm. are used to seeing. Yeah. Just like our very first recipe, Curse, that we're going to be using on the show today, it's a tamale pie. Oh, okay. Let's go to the ingredients. All right. It calls for one teaspoon of olive oil, one cup of onions chopped, two cups of mock beef crumbles, one eight-ounce can of tomatoes diced, one eight-ounce can of whole kernel corn, one half cup of black olives sliced, and one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, one tablespoon of chili powder, and one half cup of soy parmesan alternative. Now this is a real good recipe, a familiar mm. recipe. Yes, okay, pie, sure is. And just different ingredients. So what I want you to do, start off with, is I want you to go ahead and cut the onion into chunks for me, if you don't mind doing that. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my stove ready using a couple of items that perhaps uh, they have not seen before and that is we got the mock beef crumbles that we're using um, for simulation of of ground beef but it's not ground beef at all and we also are using in this recipe the soy parmesan alternative which is also an imitation cheese that we're using in the recipe as well I'm gonna go ahead on and get the fire going and you have different there are different mock uh, burger crumbles on the market. Absolutely. You've got and so I, I guess it depends on what texture you're looking for. Yeah, depending on the texture you're looking for. Um, this is a frozen and you can find it in the um, breakfast section of the freezer, the freezer section in your grocery store. Okay. Okay, where you have the breakfast items. I'm putting in the um, oil right now and I'm going to need a spatula, baby. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna let that get hot, and then you're gonna put that in as well. Uh, let me let's get let's let's let, yeah, a little let's bit. just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And people now, are used to tamale pie. Tamale pie. Okay. Now, yeah. um, this recipe is gonna be calling for. Let's go ahead and put the let's put the onions on in. Okay. Okay. Onion chunks. It's too big. No, it's fine. Okay. And usually, what I like to do is let it just saute for a few minutes because remember now. 
tamale pie is going to go into the oven mm -hmm. and bake. Uh, we've got a cornbread uh, dressing that's going to go with this. Uh, we're going to be a batter that's going to go with this as well. So you don't have to cook everything from, this, from uh, the very beginning because it will bake. It will cook as it bakes in the oven. Also, the crumbles. I want you to know that the burger crumbles are already done. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a matter of just kind of sauteing them in, in with the uh, uh, onions that actually make it help it to come back to uh, life or give it the flavor it needs to have okay. as well. So right. I'm going to go ahead on and put in the crumb. crumbles. Now, can you use, someone use TVP, textured yes. vegetable protein? Yes. Now, let me just say that. Um, the TVP is also in your better grocery stores now. It's a dry mixture. Uh, you can get it in a dark brown color to represent beef, or you can get it in a light color to represent that of chicken. Okay, and with that, it's one cup of the dry item to one cup of hot water. Okay, and this is making a sizzling sound there, so let's just go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Here we go. Because all of the, the other ingredients are going to go in here, Chris, believe it or not. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead on and put in, I want you to go ahead now, let's go ahead and put the um, diced tomatoes in. Okay. It's also a very colorful item. All the goodies, all the goodies, all the goodies. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the corn. Now this is frozen corn or? Frozen corn, canned corn, whatever is available to you. Um, I like to always do frozen first and then also fresh and then canned. In that okay. order? In that order. Okay. In that order. For nutritional value also. And we're going to go ahead on and put in the tomato sauce. It looks very good now, colorful. Okay, very colorful. And get your spatula, um, babe. Get the spatula. Okay. And then we're going to just scoop it all in there. Yes, baby. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put in the black olives. This and is these my are already favorite. sliced up. And I've already counted all the olives just in case. You have counted each one? Yeah. Are you sure Just about in case, that? I, I think I did. I believe I did. That's all I can say. <coughs> and then we're going to go ahead and put in also, now let's this, go ahead. That's the chili powder. Chili powder. This is what gives that flavor to it as well. All right. Sprinkle that on top. Gives a nice little kick to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Chili powder. Okay. Now, this now, is the soy This is the, the alternative. It is not cheese. It is an alternative to okay. cheese. It smells like Parmesan. I'm going to put just a, a half of this and it's into the mix. Cholesterol free. It's cholesterol free. We're going to put some more on top. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm, smell that smell? Yes, I do. Very good. Very good. Very good. Turn the fire up. Or? No, I'm going to put the lid on. Oh, okay. Because I'm going to talk about the the other part that goes with this because this is just the filling. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to put right. that top on. And, and I would say it would go for about maybe, oh, um, about maybe eight to ten minutes um, on low um, just to kind of get that seasoning in. And you know what? Because the batter that we're going to be doing in a few minutes is very, very important here. Normally what we do is we let this cool completely down so that when we put it in the batter, it's not so hot that it causes a problem when you're trying to bake okay. up the actual tamale pie. Mm -hmm. But because of 3AB and TV, we're going to uh, just, you know, skip that part of it cooling down. Oh, okay. And we're going to move into the batter. So, Curtis, let's go to the ingredients. Okay. All right. The crust, one cup of whole wheat pastry flour, one cup of yellow cornmeal, one tablespoon of baking powder aluminum free, three tablespoons of canola oil, one teaspoon of sea salt, three tablespoons of fructose, and one and one-fourth cup of almond milk. Now, I really mm -hmm. like this one because we're using, uh, once again, um, cornmeal that is not de-germed. All okay. right, so it's a good whole cornmeal. We're also using pastry flour. Now, let, let, let's talk about the pastry flour because oh, it looks okay. white, and yeah. so people may think it's white flour, okay. even though you said whole wheat pastry flour. Whole wheat pastry flour is actually called a summer wheat. You have the 100% whole wheat, and then you have your summer wheats, and the pastry flour is a part of that group. It's got a light texture, almost like that of white flour, except the germ is still available, still there. Mm -hmm. So it's called a pastry flour, and it's, it's more pliable when you're trying to make pie crust mm -hmm. or fillings, much more than a 100% whole wheat. All okay. Right? So, so it still has to germinate, it still has to be yes, vitamins. Yes. Then. It's called a summer wheat. So okay. we're going to go ahead and pour that in. We got one cup of uh, the cornmeal and we got one cup of the pastry flour. You're also going to put in this, Curtis, uh, if you will, uh, we've got the uh, fructose. Okay. This is a, uh, a raw cane sugar that we're using. 
okay? And then we're also going to put in the salt as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add in the baking powder. All right, this is aluminum-free baking powder that we're using, and we're going to stir this up. All right. Okay, and then we're going to turn around and do this. I have one and one-fourth cup of almond milk that we're going to be using, okay? Okay, now, again, let's... Because some people may use soy milk or... They can use soy. They can use soy. They can use It'd rice. They can use texture. soy. And they can use almond. And all of them, whether it's soy milk, you want to use original soy milk, not with the vanilla in it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to use the um, rice milk, same, regular rice milk. Okay. And if you're going to use the almond milk, you're going to also use the original almond milk. Uh, any one of these that's got vanilla added to it is going to have more sugar. It's going to change the texture. Mm. We're doing a tamale pie. I don't want it to be real, real sweet, okay? Okay, yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put in the almond milk. All right, one and one-fourth cup. Just now using cow's milk. That's right. That's right. All right. Okay. And you're going to go ahead on and put in the actual oil as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, and if you'll give me a, uh, let me take and change my spoon over. And we're going to just so mix this, this up. So this is going to be more the, the cornbread. Yeah, this is going to be, a, well, it's a cornbread, but it's going to actually be the base. We're going to put this in our our mixture in an eight by eight dish. Okay. I was, I was just telling someone that when I've done this before in the mm -hmm. past, mm -hmm. I've had a nine by 13 dish. Okay. And when I take the nine by 13 glass dish, I lay um, all the filling, which is the ground beef and the, the um, diced tomatoes and everything on the bottom of my dish. And then I pour on top of it, the actual um, cornmeal batter. Mm -hmm. But this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. What we're gonna do this time, we're actually gonna take the cornmeal batter and we're gonna put it on the bottom first. Oh, okay. Okay, on the bottom right. first. Let me hold it or what? No, I got it. Okay. Okay. So just enough to uh, cover the bottom? You use about half. Oh, about half? About half of it. Okay. Okay, and just get a little bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Give me your, give me your napkin over there. So I can wipe the bowl. Okay, and we're going to sit over there, and once again, we're going to go ahead and add in. Oh, so you, you're going to add it in now yeah. without cooking we're it gonna, first? That's okay. right. Now, remember, this is already done. Right. So if you can move these out the way, baby, just move, just move those over. Oh, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put this in the middle. Okay. Remember, now you want to be cool. All right. I'm going to put it in the center. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is it's going to come up on the sides up to top and around the edges okay. to completely cover. And I think I like about this is that, you know, unless you tell them it's a tamale pie, they're going to slice it up and go into it. And inside the middle is going to be all it's, the filling. It's this the filling, right filling here. Yes, yes. I see. Now, all this is going to go in because, remember, now this cornbread batter is going to actually come all up. So you want to get everything inside. How did you come up with this dish? This. I, I've always had a tamale pie dish, mm -hmm. and um, I was just thinking, you know, on one of our shows, an Indian cooking, I believe it was, mm -hmm. we uh, did a, a kind of a, a doughy bread, and then inside of it, I actually put fillings. Yes, and then I, I remember that. It. Okay. And we got so many people called in asking me about that, and um, I was saying, you know what? Wait a minute. If we can do that with um, regular. Uh, like a biscuit type of a dough, what if we were to do it with a cornmeal batter? Oh, okay. And so the cornmeal okay. batter came in handy because we've done it several times and it is really well, we wonderful. Want to turn that skillet on the side? Or? I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get, and I know you said, we, we, put, we put in all of it. All, oh, all of it. All of it. All Remember of now, it. because that corn the cornmeal is going to come all the way up. All right, and we don't want it to be corny. We want it to be a tamale pie. We don't want to be corny. That, we don't want was, to be corny. Okay. We don't want to be corny. Okay. Now, now, Curtis, on this part here, all we're going to do is we're going to take very lightly. Very lightly. Very lightly. We're going to take and we're going to put this over top. Like so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, once you finish doing this, this will bake. What? 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Okay. So and this it, can be a one dish meal. I mean, you, well, it, it can be. It can, it can be. be. I mean, maybe some be. green vegetables or something because you have a lot. You got the cornbread or the bread. You have the. Yeah, your uh, bread's meat. already here. You have your vegetables in there as well. Right. 
and I like to kind of like on the edges leave just a little bit of the red, okay, a little bit of the red on the, on the um, uh, side because when it bakes up, you will see a stream of that red there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a little bit of this Parmesan. Oh, that's where that comes in. Okay, and we're going to sprinkle the Parmesan on top. And it's going to then go into the oven. It's going to bake. And at, the, nice end of the, cheesy at the end of the program, you'll get a chance to see this tamale pie. Mm. So, you know, um, this, is, this is absolutely delicious. Mm. You're going to really mm. like this, okay. okay, this presentation. And so we're going to move to our very next recipe. We're probably going to take a break. Well, let's do that. Let's take a break yeah. first, and that way I can go put this in the oven. Okay, do that. And then uh, we'll, we'll come back and talk about the very next one. So we want you then to just stay by. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free Abundant Living resource sheet. It contains useful information about products and cookbooks that will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living resource sheet and The Natural Way to Keep in Shape, Call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Well, hey, we welcome want to welcome back. you back. We are going to go to our very next recipe, which is a skillet shepherd's pie. Okay. Let's look at the ingredients. It calls for one 15-ounce can of kidney beans drained, one 16-ounce jar of chunky salsa, or one cup of mock beef crumbles, or one cup of whole kernel corn, or one medium carrot shredded, three cups of boiled potatoes, or one third cup of hot almond milk, or one tablespoon of soy margarine, and one half teaspoon of sea salt. Okay, okay. Curtis, this is another real good one. I'm going to go yes, ahead and is. get the, uh, get our fire started up. And notice in this Shepherd one, pie. shepherd's pie this is another real good one, one that people are used to as well. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm going to put in, first of all, let's start up by putting in, this is the crumbles. We're going to go ahead and put in the bulk of crumbles. No in. oil? Huh? No. Okay. And we're going to put in the beans. Red kidney beans? Red kidney beans. Okay. Because the thing that's going to give us the liquid we need to have is going to be that oh, chunky the, salsa. Um, so let's salsa, go ahead and start yeah. pouring that salsa in for okay. me. Okay. All right. Why is it called a shepherd's pie, honey? Okay, you know, the shepherd's pie, that name originally started when uh, individuals used to have, like, let's say meat. Okay. And they would do, like, a pot roast on a Sunday, mm -hmm. and there would be some, some pot roast left over. Okay. And so what would happen was they would take the actual little pieces of the pot roast, add to it the kidney beans and the carrots and, and uh, the corn and all that, and mm. then they would actually make up this shepherd's pie. And the, the, the main thing is the mashed potatoes that goes on top of it. Oh, okay. But this is called a skillet shepherd's pie, so it's skillet. a little bit different. So you're not okay. turning on the oven. No turning the oven on on this one. All okay. right. Go ahead and let's put the corn in. Okay. And all the goodies. And then let's get the carrots, shredded carrots. You can see this is a lot of, yeah. like, we, you know, um, we say leftovers. However, you can see I'm using all fresh ingredients. It's okay. We're going to stir that around. These are fresh leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to stir it around. And as you already said, Curtis, basically mm -hmm. when you're talking about uh, doing um, this particular shepherd's pie, mm -hmm. you always like put it into a casserole dish, and then you take your mashed potatoes and, and put it all on top, put a little bit of uh, cheese on it. We're going to be using a soy parmesan cheese, and then you would actually just put it in the oven for about 25 minutes, about 325 degrees. But this is called a skillet shepherd's pie, which means we're going to make it on top of the stove, okay? Oh, okay. On top of the stove. Okay, on top. Okay, now, we've already done the mashed potatoes because of mm. uh, expediency's sake. The mashed potatoes are ready to go. And what happens is, once this cooks up, and once again, it doesn't take a long time, because remember now, the meat is already done. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit more, a little bit more. You got the okay. ice cream got scoop. got my scoop ready to go. And this one here I like because you actually make it on top of the stove. Look at the color. So it just stays in the skillet. It stays in the skillet. Skillet shepherd's pie. Skillet shepherd's pie. And what we do is after it comes to a, a, a like a boy, you can see it starting already to mm -hmm. get your bubbles going on, then you would actually just take your scoop and you would just put in. I want to do one of those. Okay, I'll give you the things so you can do one. Okay. Okay. All right. Turn it down even more. Mm. 
All right. And one more? Yep. How am I doing, honey? You're doing fine. Um, you're scooping it down, and what's happening is you're messing with the aesthetics of... Uh, oh, so I'm, I'm messing things up a little bit? Well, you know, we want the potato oh. to be the way the potato is. Oh, so. okay. It's okay. Maybe okay. I'm at a bad angle. Maybe that's the reason that, that why. Could be, yeah, that could, could be. be. It could be. You yeah, know it could what I'm be. saying? I think yeah, it's, it's the angle. Yeah. Yeah, it's the angle. Yeah, it's the angle, baby. Put one there. Yeah. And then we're going to put one in the middle. So that when a person scoops up their shepherd's pie, they get they a little get of the mashed, mashed potatoes potato. as well. And you can see this is quick and easy. Mm, Has a mm. wonderful, yes. wonderful flavor. Okay. And I like to sprinkle yes. on top of it. A little bit of the Parmesan. Soy Parmesan, Soy Parmesan alternative. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're working it now, baby. You work it. Okay. okay. And you know what? We have done these two recipes. Now, someone's asking a question. Is there going to be a dessert? And the answer is yes. We're going to be doing some chewy bran bars. Let's go to the ingredients. It calls for two tablespoons of soy margarine, one-fourth cup of peanut butter, one-half cup of honey, one and one half cup of walnuts chopped, one teaspoon of coriander ground, one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, two cups of whole bran cereal, one half cup of raisins, and one eighth teaspoon of sea salt. Now this is a real good favorite, and it's one of those desserts you can actually cook on top of the stove. You don't oh. even have to turn the oven on once again. Talk about meals and oh, meals, yes. fixing All things right. up real quick. Now this one here, Curtis, believe it or not, um, shredded wheat. Yes, wheat people, brand cereal, Yeah, yes. they usually don't care for shredded wheat. You know, it says nothing to it. No you know, taste, no to, sugar. Yeah. Some people say it's like hay, but there's a, some new new, new um, shredded wheat on the market that's just a little itty bitty whole brand. He's a whole brand cereal, brand cereal shredded wheat, yeah. and shredded wheat family. Okay? So you just crunch them up? Yep. Uh, As a matter of fact, I got a couple for you. Oh. Here you go. Okay, what am I supposed to? You're actually going to just, just crumble it up. Oh, okay. With your hand. Okay. okay, I'm going to give you these to do as well, because I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove on. How about that? Oh, okay. So regular brand cereal. Regular brand cereal. It's a good thing it doesn't have a taste to it or just kind of brand, so you can just, bland, I mean, so you can just whatever yeah, add yeah, to that. Yeah, There's another one. Okay, Okay. And if you will give me um, a spoon here. All right. I'm going to take the spoon. I want to go ahead and put in the margarine. We're that's going to melt soy that margarine, margarine, soy margarine, and melt that first. And then as that's melting, we're going to go ahead and add in. Give me a spatula, baby. We're okay. going to add in the peanut butter. Can you use this? Big enough? This is all natural peanut butter that we're using as well. In the ingredients, it just has peanuts and a little salt. That's, that's about all. It. That's all. Not natural all peanut butter. Natural peanut have. butter. Yes. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add in the honey. All right. And this is actually going to come to a boil, believe it or not. It's all going to melt, and it's going to form, uh, it's going to bubble up on us. Chewy brand bars. Chewy brand bars. From the brand cereal. Mm -hmm. That's your mm -hmm. base. Good way to get that in. All right. Good way to get that combination in. Let me um, hold that for me. Let me go ahead and stir this around a little bit. Now, believe it or not, mm -hmm. if you can't find the brand um, cereal that's, that's out, you can do regular shredded wheat. Um, you do your shredded wheat, and then you're going to crumble it up as well. And then you can use a little bit of bran flakes. And if you do bran flan, bran, I had the same problem before with this, <laughs> bran, bran flakes. flakes. Okay? I got you, baby. If you do that also as well, then you would use one tablespoon of the uh, bran flakes in there, okay? Okay. I'm just actually mixing this around here. It's going to start bubbling in a few minutes. And so this would make the bran kind of stick together? Help to make it stick together. Help to make it stick together. Okay, and notice now I'm using coriander in a place of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. uh, cinnamon can become an irritant, so to the we're going to use the coriander. The stomach. And it also yes. goes very well with this particular um, yes. dessert, okay? Uh, Curse, go ahead on. Okay, it's about okay, to come to a boil. Next? I want you to go ahead and, and add in now the vanilla. This is vanilla oh. that has uh, no alcohol, alcohol free. Alcohol free. All righty. And then, and you know, I'm, uh, give me that uh, spatula because I see some of the peanut butter is on the edge of my. Oh, can I? There. Don't, uh, we don't want to stick that in there because I, I don't want it to melt. Oh, okay. Let's just take and do this. Yeah, good move, baby. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add in the coriander. coriander. And last, that one-eighth salt. Salt. Okay. Ooh, that smells good. Doesn't it smell mm -hmm. good? Okay. Now, 
I usually put all this in, in the pot at one time, but so you can see what's going on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stove off because once it comes to a boil, you're to turn it off. Okay, we don't want that peanut butter and stuff to burn. Now, we're going to go ahead on and add to that. Let's put the uh, raisins in. In there? Mm hmm Okay. One half cup of raisins going in. All right. And we're going to go ahead on and put in the walnuts. Mm, this okay. This, now, this smells good. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. All righty. Okay. It is kicking. And I usually just take and stir it around a little bit to get that mixed in because we're getting ready to take all of this and put it in. No, no. Oh, in there. Put it in with the cereal. Oh, I first. see. Get that. Mix it all in. Yep, and give me that special so we can get all the goodies. All okay. the goodies. And I'm going to let you start stirring that up to make sure we get it all. It's going to be a good. Good dessert here. I'm gonna get a harder spoon. You wanna to put, oh, this one? Let's do this one. No, oh. I'm gonna use that at the end. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna take and get all the goodies out, baby. You got anything else in there? We got it all. Well, we got just a little bit, but okay. well, it's not gonna make that much of a difference, I don't think, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just keep this here so I can lick the, okay. the pot. All I'm gonna do is just mix this together. And believe it or not, you'll mix it mm -hmm. and then we're gonna transfer it into that eight by eight dish. All right? We're gonna mix this all together. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're gonna go away. When we come back, you will see everything we prepared to we have prepared today. So stay by. Would you like to learn more about preparing healthful vegetarian dishes? If so, then you want to be sure to order our free abundant living resource sheet. It contains useful information about products and cookbooks. It will help you to learn more about this natural way of cooking. Along with your order, we would also like to include a free copy of the booklet, The Natural Way to Keep in Shape. This 20-page booklet is filled with tips that will help you to develop a total lifestyle approach to health. To receive both the Abundant Living Resource Sheet and The Natural Way to Keep in Shape, call us at 800-752-3226 during regular business hours. Call and ask for this special offer today. Well, we have come to the end of the program. Yes, we have. Meals in minutes. We just completed our tamale pie first we did. Yes, we and have. And for the tamale pie, we did the skillet shepherd's pie, and we did the chewy bran bars. Mm, looks good. So, yes. Uh -huh. Meals in minutes. Meals in minutes. And we did this in minutes. Is that true? <laughs> all right. That's a true statement. Very good. And all the olives are there. You can check them, yes, too. Yes, I already checked them. All yes. right. Well, let's close out. John 10, 10, Jesus said, I come, that they might have life and have, have it, it more abundantly. abundantly. See you next time.